Hello, Debbie with Stitching here. Today I'm going to work on block seven, The Witch in the Kitchen. Actually, I think it's just called Kitchen. And I've got the machine all set up, ready to go. There are 54 steps to it. So it can take a little while. I've got it all loaded in. There is a thread list, again, on my blog. Please help yourself if you'd like it. Oh, yeah, I've got the camera right up close. But that means that, you know, my arm is going to be right in the way. Sorry. We're going to give it a shot. Can I get in this spot? Yeah, that's good enough. Yes, I have cats. <laughs> now we trim. To the thread. Their instructions always say to leave one to two millimeter distance between the edge and the thread to the seam. And we put our border fabric in. Make sure that it's uh, as even as possible. I'm using a solid, so I don't even have to worry about, you know, if it's in the correct direction or anything. I, it happened to be something I thought looked like Halloween fabric. I don't have any Halloween fabric. I think I found one little chunk. Okay, let's go. Now we're going to tack down the wall. Now we need to trim this out. Yep, we trim all around it. Floor fabric face down like we've been doing. And Go we'll past that line just slightly. Now we will fold this down. Now it's going to do the tack down stitch on the edges of the floor. Now we need to make sure that we get to window where you can see it. We need to make sure that we trim all around this. 
is about to do the satin around the block, you know, at the wall edge and such. And you don't want to have to try to get it out from underneath. Next, it's going to do a placement for a little picture frame. Now we need to put our fabric that we want for as the picture in there. And I, I can't decide which color to go with. <laughs> It has blue in the room, so I keep thinking I should go with the blue, but then there's that pink one, and the witch is going to be in purple. Okay, we got to make a decision. Really, all that and it didn't fit anyways my bugs are too big no I have this little this is basting tape and it's supposed to be a double sided tape but I swear it doesn't feel sticky I'm going to try and get this ladybug into the center of that frame, and I don't want it to shift. Ah, she's crooked. It's a new one, and that's, so that's the beginning of it, and I think it might be a little dry at the end. I should have just gone past that piece of tape, huh? I'm not that smart. All right, now it's going to tack down the picture in the frame. She's off center, but... Close enough. We need to trim this out. I have to move it out. You're not getting close enough. I'll have to move you. Now it's going to do the satin edge around the little picture. Step 12, it, or I'm sorry, step 11 is the spider web in the bookcase. And I've got that in glow in the dark. Now 
Now it'll do the placement stitch for the bookcase. Now to do the tack down for the bookcase. And we need to trim that out. The next step is going to be the black cat, or I should say the cat, on the top of the bookcase. I went with black. Now it will do the cat outline. Next, it'll be the shelves in the bookcase. Step 17 on my thread list, and that's the crystals on the second shelf. Yes, this block may have way too much purple in it. I decided to go with amethyst. I don't ask me why. Outlines of the bottles. I put this in glow in the dark. Why not? Now the next one is uh, I on the thread list. I just called it filled bottle. So it's like colored glass, and I went with bright orange this time. I don't usually use bright orange in these blocks, and it's time to start working it in. Okay, we are at step 20 on my list. The cubes in the bottle on the top shelf is what it says. It is a different color. You just can't tell. Or I can't tell. How's that? I used a light gray. But it won't. it's not glow in the dark is the idea. Now we've got the herbs on the bottom shelf, which kind of look like flowers to me, and I went with white. Like, why is it? How do you say that? Oleander? Oleander? I don't know. I know that a woman poisoned her boyfriend or whatever with something from the plant, but people use these the oleander also for tea, so. 
I'm confused. <laughs> I won't drink that tea just in case. <laughs> Pretty sure. Built-in bottle on top shelf. Fill in the bottom bottle. Excuse me. Fill in the bottle on the second shelf. There's a bone lean right there leaning on that bottle. going to do the outer satin stitch on the bookcase. Now part of the witch's hair is going to be behind other stitches. You might be tempted to combine them for a less changing of threads, but it would end up on top of her face if you do that. So I'm just saying that there's a reason they put them in the order they do. I think I actually had that paused through the last bits. Oh no. It would figure. My earbud fell out and when I put it in, it pauses it and then, you know, you're trying to get it adjusted and it unpauses it. And I glanced and didn't notice. So... I don't even know where it was because a thread had broke and I don't remember where it went. But this is my cauldron. It does an emblem on the side. I did the little puddles in green. This is my finished block. I will recommend you not make your bottle the same color as your hair because as you can see, it blended right in. My mistake. I didn't think it through. Thank you so much for joining me. I do enjoy making them, and I hope to see you next week. Bye-bye.